Um, I remember being so, so flustered. Um, and a cop talking at me. Um, and they asked me if I was his girlfriend and I said yes. They said, are you Charlie's girlfriend? I said yes. And then I remember them asking if he took drugs and I was, I don't know, I was flustered. I said, yeah, he, he did take some things, but he was really safe about it. We were gonna make dinner. Our housemate Caesar comes into the kitchen and like, Chuck, there's something up, something is wrong. Chuck is not okay right now. We start smacking Charlie around, moving him around at a point blood starts coming out of his nose. We heard like fire trucks and actually texted Charlie like, yo, what's going on at Cal Fi? And then Tommy called me in tears. Then I saw people on like all of his housemates on the ground crying, um, people who are my friends, and that's when it really like kicked in. So we have some news, we have some bad news. Like what's going on? Charlie died. Like Charlie died. What are you talking about, Charlie Knight? He died from pills. Charlie did not die from an overdose. Charlie was poisoned. The DEA is warning parents, keep a close eye on your child or teen's social media activities. This warning comes after investigations across the U.S. involving children dying from fentanyl overdoses. There are millions of these dangerous fake pills out there. 15,000 pounds of the highly lethal drug fentanyl this year alone. The poison that killed musicians Prince in 2016 and Tom Petty in 2017 and very nearly killed Demi Lovato in 2018. An opioid 100 times more potent than heroin. It's smuggled into the U.S. mainly from Mexico. Ruled an accident by mixed drug toxicity with fentanyl. Michael K. Williams was found dead in his New York apartment on Monday afternoon. He was a fraternity brother. He was a senior in college. He was down to party. I think he's in the range of normal. He certainly was not in the range of dependent or addicted. He thought he was getting a Percocet, and it was a counterfeit poisonous pill. There's nothing Percocet about the Percocet Charlie took. It was counterfeit, completely fake. My dad texted me, call me. And that's when I knew, like, something was wrong. When they told me it was, like, but earth shatter. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was just screaming and crying and getting sick and it's like, why him, you know? I see now that nothing is worth what we experienced that day. It makes you really like sit back and think just like it could have been anyone. No high is worth the thing that I felt talking to Mama T the next day, just trying to process things together. What we've learned is it taking and, and sharing prescription pills has become normalized among young people, and social media is a place they go uh, to buy these pills without a prescription. It's just become a normal thing at colleges, and it's crazy.
When you do drugs in high school, in college, you have no idea where you're getting it from. You'll hear people say, I trust this guy, like I trust this dealer, but in reality, like you have no idea who, he's, who the, that dealer is getting it from. Just like the fact that one pill could end your life is um, crazy and it sucks that, like I know for me personally, I didn't really think about that until something like this happens. We would never have imagined Charlie would have taken one darn pill and just gone. We really want to get the message out. We want to raise people's awareness about the new risks and dangers in the era, in the era of fentanyl and synthetic drugs. None of the victims behind us represented here today died of an overdose, accidental or otherwise. They were poisoned. Each of them took a single pill. It's impossible to overdose on a Xanax unless it's a counterfeit made of fentanyl. These counterfeit pills out there have flooded the market. They're all fake. If you don't get a pill from your doctor or your pharmacist, you have to assume it's fake. They've pushed the legitimate ones right out of the market. So you need to warn your friends. Don't let this happen to you. Don't have your family up here next year. Fentanyl, like, the first time I ever heard that word was Charlie's death. If it could happen to Charlie, it could happen to anyone. And then one freak moment that you can't take back, it makes the biggest shockwave ever. You guys didn't create this problem, but you can solve it. The solution is in your hands. You need to tell everyone you know that this is happening. Fentanyls are everywhere and they're deadly. And with your help, you guys can make this problem literally go away. This is a solvable problem if everybody knows that it's happening.